Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm doing something a little different today. Y'all probably never seen this before. I'm doing, I'm going to do a braise. I'm not going to smother it. I'm not going to steer it. I'm going to braise this. I mean, I'm going to put a little liquid in this thing and, and, and slow cook it for about two and a half, three hours. Braised pork leg. Now, this is a whole pork leg that I had my butcher cut. I washed it up really, really good and kind of put it back together to kind of show y'all how the leg is. Now, this is actually a pig, a small pig, and that's the whole leg. You can see the feet here they cut for me. So if you can do it like that, you see the feet going there right there. And this is pretty much the whole leg with the bone in it and everything. So what I'm going to do with this, y'all, I'm going to braise this thing. I mean, I'm going to put in the, uh, I'm going to put in my uh, Dutch oven here, sear it off. Both sides, I'm going to salt, season with salt and pepper, sear it off. And I'm going to put it back in the hot with a little bell, with bell peppers. You can use bell peppers if you want to. A little celery and onions, a little tomato paste in there and kind of, Get that cooked off, put a little base, uh, ham base in there and let it, and cover it, we'll just cover it just slightly with water. And I'm gonna uh, braise it off about, about two hours. Pork don't take that long, about two hours. And I'm gonna get me some cheddar cheese grits, y'all. I'm telling you, this is absolutely amazing. Fast way to eat pork. So let's get started here, y'all. I got my Dutch oven over here heating up. And I'm gonna see the bad boys with a little salt and pepper. After I throw them in the pot here. Got a little oil in there. Put a little salt and pepper on it. I'm not going to over season this, y'all, because my ham base going to have a little, going to have a little uh, salt in it as well. So I'm going to stir this on both sides. And, uh, I don't want to try to put them back together in there as best way I can. But if I can't, I'll just, you know, let them lay like they lay. So like I said, I want to get them all seared off. And once I get them seared off, take them out. And then we'll add a little celery and onions to this. A little tomato paste, a little ham base to that. And uh, I'm not putting no, might put just a little flour to it. I don't want a thick, 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 thick gravy. I just want a nice little sauce to it. Not a thick gravy. That's the difference between smothering and uh, braising. Braising just adding a little. Smothering, you just pour as much liquid as you can on that and let it cook in the oven. Braising just got just enough liquid to cover your meat. And you're gonna let it slow cook on that method until the meat fall off the bone tender. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back when I get them all seared off. We'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, we're going to take these out here. You can see these here already seared off. That's what you want. Just want to sear them off just like that. See that? On both sides. Okay, we're going to move these out the way. Now we're going to put our uh, onions and celery in here, y'all. Onions and celery in there. We're gonna get this kind of caramelized all. I want a nice caramelization on these, y'all. We we'll get all them to say yum yums out the bottom of that. While y'all watching that, I'm gonna open my tomato paste. I'm not gonna add, every time I braise, I like to add a little tomato paste to my to my stuff. It gives it that natural color, and it's a natural thicker there too. As I've told y'all that before. Y'all never had braised pork leg. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's like a pretty much like a pork shank. It's pretty much close to a pork shank. If you want to say, call it that. It's a little thinner than an actual pork shank. But it's absolutely amazing. It has that thick skin on it. And when you braise it really slow, it just it's just absolutely amazing, y'all. And you serve it with some uh, cheddar grits or some risotto, something really rich with it. It's, it's like a fancy way of eating a pork chop, y'all. <laughs> but it ain't a pork chop. A pork chop comes off of another part of the pig. So, anyway. 
Anyway, I'm gonna let these come out just a little. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now I got my onions and celery. Put them by. I just like to get a little caramelization on them, y'all. I don't want to be completely raw when I add my pork back to this. So now we're gonna add our uh, tomato paste in here. Just a little. We ain't gonna put a lot in this. Move it around in there. And then I'm gonna put just a little flour in here, y'all. Because I want to make a little sauce, but not much. I don't want it too thick. So I'm gonna add a little flour in this. Once this tomato paste kind of cooked down. It's gonna give it a nice reddish color. But I don't want it too red either. Okay, let me get some flour here. Wow, it's clean flour, so the dirty flour lady don't even have to make a appearance today. I'm gonna put just a little, maybe a couple of teaspoons, y'all, of flour to this. Put this around in here. There we go. Now we're gonna add a pork stock to this. If you don't have pork stock, by all means, use chicken stock, whatever you have. And people say, how where I get pork stock? All I do, y'all, I get pork base and I add water to it. You can find pork base in the stores, as a matter of fact. I've seen it in the stores before. I, you know, I get mine in the industrial store, y'all. I get mine at Restaurant Depot. But supermarkets, I've seen some supermarkets with it. So we're going to slowly kind of mix this together here. Because I'm not looking for a thick, thick, thick gravy. I just want to kind of braise this just a little. I'm going to put just a little bit more water in here to the stock. And I'm going to check my seasonings. And this is going to be good. To, oh, I forgot one thing, y'all. You know, I forgot my wishy shishy shi shi sauce. A.K.A. Asian American soy sauce. Okay, we're going to taste this here, y'all. I like to taste my uh, stuff before I add my pork to this. Put a little salt and pepper in there. And that should just about, just about do it here. Let me check to make sure. I like my food to be perfectly seasoned, y'all. Perfectly seasoned. Who just calling me this this early in the morning? This early in the morning, y'all. And when I'm shooting this video, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all behind the scene. When I'm shooting this video, it is 5:30 in the morning right now, y'all. It's actually 5:30 in the morning, and my phone is going off at 5:30 in the morning. It's amazing, ain't it? Old school soul food never closes. Mm -hmm. Good. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, that's perfect. Now, pretty much cut this off, and all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my pork back to the liquid here. Add the pork right back to the liquid. And we're gonna braise these bad boys. About two hours, y'all. On about 300 and 25 degrees, low and slow. Let me see, I like to put my big pieces on the bottom. There we go. And that's it. So you just want just enough liquid to cover it, because that liquid definitely gonna disintegrate, evaporate, and uh, and go away and it's gonna be pretty much half gone when it come back so anyway two and a half hours y'all 325 degrees and we'll come back like i said i'm gonna make me some cheddar cheese grits i've did that many many times i probably won't show that on the video but i'm gonna serve with some cheddar cheese grits y'all it's gonna be absolutely amazing we'll be right back all right y'all we back here okay y'all the pork is still in the oven and like i told y'all i'm gonna serve it with some Yellow cheese grits here. It goes so much well. When you're braising a pork leg, 
braising it really, really slow and nice sauce. It goes so well with the cheese grits. So what I got here, I got these, these Yellowstone grits, real grits, y'all. I actually get these at the farmer's market. And I'm just cooking it with some butter and milk. You can use water if you want to. I put a little salt and pepper in there. Now I'm gonna add my cheese to this. Add a little cheese in here. Melt it off in there, y'all. It's gonna make it really, really, really cheesy. And I'm gonna let this kind of sit until my pork, there's about 30, 40 minutes on my pork, y'all. And then, uh, let me turn this off. And this is gonna go perfect with the pork. And these grits is not instant grits, y'all. They take a minute to cook. Let me try them here, make sure they're seasoned good. Uh, put a little bit more, a little bit more salt and pepper. And that's it, y'all. Cheddar cheese grits, the braised pork leg. I'm telling y'all, I don't get much better. So I'm gonna set these to the side, y'all. And when the pork get ready, I'll show you how it looks, and then we're gonna put this plate together. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, the pork is out the oven. It's been in there two hours. I let it go two hours, sometimes two and a half. We're gonna see if I need to put it back in the oven here. So here goes here. We're gonna see what we got here, y'all. You see how light that sauce is? Now let me get a knife here, y'all. And see the tenderness of it. Of the pork here. Yes, here we gotta put it back in the oven. Got pig feet in there. Let me take one of these shanks here. Okay, let's see here, y'all. So what we gonna do? It's almost ready, but I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Hold on, y'all. This second here. Let me check this one for another. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes because it's tender, but it's not tender to my likeness. So I'm gonna be back in about about 15 minutes, and we're gonna uh, show you how it looks. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Now we're gonna open this up, and I know it's have to be tender now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it over here on the stove here. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna see how loose that is. So what I'm gonna do, I got some root here. I'm going to tighten this sauce just a little, y'all. Not a lot. I'm going to put just enough roux in there to kind of tighten this sauce up. Make a sauce. I don't want it too thick. See how it thicken it up really quick like that? Put a little bit more in there. And that's it. See that? Get a little trick, y'all. Now you got your little sauce, size gravy, whatever. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do, let me show y'all how tender it is. Let me show y'all here just a second. Here, let me get my, get my knife here. Show y'all how tender this thing is. That's the, pit, that's the feet there. See that, how tender that meat is, y'all? It's pretty much falling off the bone. There's one there. I'm telling you, it's like a pig shank. See how that meat just falling off? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off here. I'm gonna plate some up with my grits. We're gonna make that world famous YouTube thumbnail. And we'll be back to try this out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Right, y'all, this thing is still steaming hot. Look at this here. Look at that plate of goodness right there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if you never had pork leg braised really slow, I'm not tired of even saying instant pot. Just put it in the oven and let it go two and a half hours. Then all that fat and marbling get into the meat and the flavor content is absolutely amazing. And you serve it with something rich. Like I use cheddar cheese grit, you serve it with a creamy risotto and let all that, I'm telling you, get you some asparagus or some green beans or even some carrots on the side. This right here, we should do functions of 250, 300 people at my job just for this because it's that popular. It's just, what it is, it's fancy comfort food. That's all it is. 
It's just fancy comfort food. Enough talking, y'all. Let me get into this. Y'all already know how tender it is. Let me get a piece right here. That's pretty much it. I ain't need no knife for this. See how tender that is right there? The little grits on there. Let me give y'all a good, a good view of this with that nice sauce. Look at this. Let's go in here. Mm, mm, mm. It is comforting. It's just fancy comfort food, y'all. Let me get another piece here. Hey, look, that gravy is not too thick. It's not too thin. That's what you want. Look at this here. All right. Mm, that Dylan trying. And y'all probably wondering. Where do you get pork leg? A lot of Asian markets have it. Um, go to your butcher, your friendly butcher, and see if they have it and have them cut it for you. A lot of Asian markets, you can go in it and they have it cut already. And uh, you don't have to worry about cutting it. And you can do a little piece instead of trying to do it whole. But like I say, it's just fancy. Comfort food, y'all. That's all it is. So you can make it mashed potatoes. You can do a regular rice if you want to. If that's what you that's what you like. So anyway, y'all, just want to show you another way. To eat pork. Look at that fat right there, y'all. Hold on. I gotta do this with my buddy Ken. I know you're watching. I mean, Ken would like this part. Look at this one, Ken. You got to have that fat cap. Mm. That's like dessert. On a plate. Well, anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. If you like your video, please share. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Let me the hashtag 2022. Happy others with a 2023. I told y'all I'm gonna keep messing up to March. 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.